In the southwest of the UK, in the county of Devon, the Devonshire Heartland Way runs through the centre. It starts in the east at the small village of Stoke Cannon, just outside the city of Exeter, and progresses westward to Oakhampton, which is on the outskirts of Dartmoor. Total length of the route is around 45 miles. The third section commences at Colebrook, again working westward through Zeal Monocorum and ends at North Torton. Well, I'm back in Colebrook and continuing along the Devonshire Heartland Way. Beautiful sunny day today and this is where the path runs behind the church as we head through Colebrook and out the other side. Just a few hundred yards on and I've got these panoramic views of the fields in mid-Devon. Just a beautiful rural scene. Well, we've been following paths across fields. It takes a right here under this quaint little bridge which takes the railway. I'm guessing that's the branch line to Oakhampton. And we've got some sheep in here. We come out the other side. Another field to cross, a few farm buildings up there on the right and we're less than a mile from, from our start at this point. In places it's quite evident that this path is little used and there is almost no signposting for the Heartland Way. You see here we're going to have to battle our way through various bits of undergrowth including stinging nettles. Well I've just come a few hundred yards through that very overgrown path and it's not been pleasant. It's stinging nettles nearly all the way and I'm walking in shorts so my legs are burning now. If you do come this path, you're going to have to have long trousers. That's the first difficult part of the Heartland Way and it's just completely overgrown. No one's been along it, no one's made any effort to, to cut it. The path is a little more manageable now. We've got crops along the field here. And though no one's been along here for some time, it is quite possible to to walk this. We passed by a farm and crossed a little lane. Now we're heading up through this rather nice track on the edge of the woods here. Well we just come up a steep hill from that direction and we've been following jointly the Two Moors Way path at this point. The Two Moors Way runs north to south through Devon between Exmoor and Dartmoor and the Heartlands Way shares that path for a short distance. We're heading now into the woods here. About three and a half miles we've left those very peaceful fields. We're walking along the edge of them, full of wildflowers, butterflies, birds. Very pleasant walk. We're now going along a country lane for a little distance. Very little traffic. Well, we're walking right across the middle of this uh, 
wheat field, corn field. It's definitely signposted through the middle here and there is a, a very narrow track. We've got the crop well over up to waist height on each side. I wouldn't normally walk across the middle of a farmer's field but the signpost is quite clear and obviously other people have walked here. Well, we've entered a, another rather overgrown section of the path. Not much evidence of anyone being down here recently. But so far we've not come across nettles. Well, that was only about 50 metres. Not too bad at all. And now we are continuing along the edge of this field. Someone's really cared for this bit. It's been very hot when we're walking around the fields out in the open. So it's really nice to have a, a section here which meanders through this woodland. We've done about five and a half miles from the start at this point. There's an old abandoned Combine harvester here. I'm in the village of Zeal Monocorum now, a pretty little village, well known for its uh, pub, a family pub, lots for the children to do when you come here for a meal and a drink. And this is the Way Inn. Way is spelt W. A I E. At the top of the village in Zeal is the pretty little parish church. I'll have a little wander and see if I can go inside. Well, the church is open and it's really nice and cool in here. And above the door, it tells me that this church was re-roofed and restored in 1965. But clearly many hundreds of years older than that in its main structure. Walking past a few houses in the village here. Just walking across the field here. Eight and a half miles. And we've been wandering across green fields, around the edges of the fields, for the last couple of miles. Very peaceful, very relaxing. I've not seen anybody on this walk. Now we've got a short distance down this quiet country lane. For well, the last half hour or so, we've been walking along this country lane. It's easy going and there's just about no traffic at all, but we're not seeing a tremendous amount of the countryside. It's not the most interesting part of the walk. We've clocked up now by just over 10 miles. 10.3 uh, miles, we've left that long lane. We're entering the grounds of Ashridge Court, taking this driveway down here. Just passed through a farmyard, a place called the Great Barn, 
and uh, just following this track. Very pleasant, very peaceful. Alongside the path is this, uh, I guess it's some sort of mill pond with the uh, yellow flowers floating on it. Well, we've reached North Torton, which is our goal today. 12 and a quarter miles. I've really enjoyed this walk. There's been a couple of bits along country lanes, which got a bit sort of samey. And it's been very hot today, which has made the going harder than normal. Two bits of advice if you're going to do the Heartland Way. One, wear long trousers. There's a lot of paths that are overgrown with nettles and my legs are badly stung. The second thing is signs are almost non-existent. You will need a good map or GPS to get you around uh, the route, but it's worth doing. I haven't met anybody else on the walk at all in either direction. I had a lovely conversation with a gentleman called Chris in Zeal Monocorum invited him to fill my bottle up with water at his house um, but otherwise I've been completely on my own during this walk and I would recommend it it's been a great section of the Heartland Way till the next time